Just as I prefer. You know, I don't like to talk about the propriety or otherwise of the, 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 any matter that's already before the court because doing so will be subjudice. But having said that, I sincerely think that government has better things to do. They should go after people like Abelo who are apparently above the law. What has protesters done to warrant a charge? What has uh, Isaac Bristol done to warrant any charge? An innocent person. You know, they, they just go about chasing shadows when there are more important business uh, for the government to face. The government should be more should, should not be as angry as they are with protesters. The government should be more angry with the bandits that have killed killed 80 something people in Yobe. Government should be more angry with the bandits that have killed 30 something people in, in Niger three days ago. Those are the issues. Government should tackle unemployment, government should tackle insecurity across the country, uh, put a halt to kidnapping in the country. Those are the issues. We should not be in court. Protest cannot be a crime. We should not be in court talking about protests. We should not be in court talking about journalists doing their work or anything. You know, and you, in the process of looking for journalists doing their work, you go and arrest an innocent man. You say, oh, because uh, you suspect that he's the one. The man says he's not the one. You are not saying any other thing. You know, so these are the issues for me. I, 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 it's painful that this is 2024 and we are still discussing things that used to happen in the 60s. Violations of fundamental rights that used to happen back in the 1960s. And it's really, and, and this is, this is being done by a man who has always protested, mm -hmm. you know, and this same man has called for revolution before exactly. in this country. And the protesters are only demanding an end to bad governance. Journalists are uh, highlighting corruption. They are not arresting the corrupt people, but they are arresting innocent people. Uh, you know, I don't like to talk about the propriety or otherwise of the, 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 any matter that's already before the court, because doing so will be subjudice. But having said that, I sincerely think that government has better things to do. They should go after people like Abelo, who are apparently above the law. What has protesters done to warrant a charge? What has uh, Isaac Bristol done to warrant any charge? An innocent person. You know, they, they just go about chasing shadows when there are more important business uh, for the government to face. The government should be more should, should not be as angry as they are with protesters. The government should be more angry with the bandits that have killed killed it is something people in Yobe. Government should be more angry with the bandits that have killed 30 something people in, in Niger three days ago. Those are the issues. Government should tackle unemployment, government should tackle insecurity across the country, uh, put a halt to kidnapping in the country. Those are the issues. We should not be in court. Protests cannot be a crime. We should not be in court talking about protests. We should not be in court talking about journalists doing their work or anything. You know, and you, in the process of looking for journalists doing their work, you go and arrest an innocent man. You say, oh, because uh, you suspect that he's the one. The man says he's not the one. You are not saying any other thing. You know, so these are the issues for me. I, 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 it's painful that this is 2024 and we are still discussing things that used to happen in the 60s. Violations of fundamental rights that used to happen back in the 1960s. And, it's really, and, and this, is, this is being done by a man who has always protested, mm -hmm. you know, and this same man has called for revolution before exactly. in this country. And the protesters are only demanding an end to bad governance. Journalists are uh, highlighting corruption. They are not arresting the corrupt people, but they are arresting innocent people. Although it is not who yet, but this is a great day for democracy. We're not celebrating the liberty of peaceful and rightful protesters. This are things of matters of course in civilized societies. But the court has taken the decision that notwithstanding the high flying charges against the defendants, they are entitled to their right to liberty as a matter of course. The court has granted each of the defendants bail upon certain conditions that we hope will be met in the next few hours or a day or day apart. But I raised another fundamental issue, which is the fact that 
a set of 49 defendants were remanded in court by a court order for 60 days under the law, Section 396 of the Act. The remand is supposed to be for a period of 14 days and to be renewed upon an application by the prosecution or by the states. Charges have been filed against 10 of the first set of 49 defendants. Another set of 79 defendants are languishing in prison custody as we speak, without trial, without arraignment in court. It should not be. What not happens to the first set of 49 defendants and the remainder 39 of the first set that are still languishing in prison custody, whose only sin was their daring to challenge the states to end bad governance and make the country better. When does it become a crime in this country to ask for a better country? The court is bound, as a matter of fact, to say that this other set of 39 defendants who has not been produced in court should be released alongside their court detainees on bail. Bail is an article of good faith donated by the Constitution. It derives from the laws of God. God gave man in the Garden of Eden liberty. And the Constitution did not donate this right. The Constitution only reinforces the right, which is the law of God himself. No man, and I repeat, should be held in prison custody for demanding and asking for what is right, proper, and just. As we speak today, the landing price of fuel is 1,125 naira, which is even above what the country is charging today. These are part of the grievances of the Nigerian citizens which they are asking for that governance be better. We are happy the court has gotten a bill. We will perfect the bill conditions and we will move from there and come for the trial on the 27th for the state to prove its case. But we also demanded that the body of evidence, the allegations that have been laid against the defendants, there is no scintilla of evidence before the court to prove those charges. We have demanded that the state should have the temerity and the boss to present this evidence in court on that day and furnish it to us ahead of time so we can adequately prepare for their defense. But God willing, liberty is sure for Nigerians. What, what I have to say is that the government should go and focus on more serious things. You should go and arrest Yabelo. Yabelo is currently above the law. Why are we here? Why are we even here? Let's get serious. It is something people were killed in Yobe by terrorists. The government is not angry. The government is angry with protesters. 30 something people were just killed in Ninja two days or three days ago. The government is not angry. The government is arresting protesters. How can you say protest is a crime and you even charge people uh, there uh, with? It doesn't make any sense that we are even here in the first place. So I will not comment on the propriety or otherwise of what's already before the court. However, I will enjoin the Nigerian government to get serious. Stop arresting labor leaders. Stop arresting protesters. Stop going after journalists. Focus on tackling insecurity in the country. Go and arrest Yabelo. Why are you scared of Yabelo? You understand? After all, Yabelo is disregarding and disrespecting the court. The court has ordered for his arrest, but the government is afraid. The government is afraid to arrest, arrest Yabelo. But the government is angry with protesters. What kind of a country is this? And finally, I want to sincerely appeal to the citizens that citizens must, citizens must rise up and protest. Protest is a constitutional right. Don't be scared. All these things is, they are trying to make people scared so that people will not come and protest. Look at how can fuel be more expensive in Nigeria than even mineral. We have the crew. The crew is here. Crew, Fuel should be cheaper than pure water. But we have the crude. Bad leadership is our problem. The governor stealing our money is our problem. If they cannot go after Yabelo, why are they arresting and parading protesters? Thank you. Oh, well, um, I'm very much comfortable. First, let me sincerely appreciate the kind ruling of my lord. Uh, bail has been granted uh, to the like sum of 10 million naira. And uh, with the production, yes, 10 million naira, with the production of uh, a shorty, one shorty to each of the defendants. 
uh, with their international, they will deposit their international passport and their uh, recent passport and uh, their NIN, that is um, uh, National Identification ID card. I think that's all. The incarceration of protesters is a stain on the collective consciousness of Nigerians. The problem of this country are not the people protesting. The subject of the protest is what the government should rather focus on, to arraign people and prosecute them for expressing their fundamental rights, a right that was given to them by God, to complain about the problems that they are experiencing as a nation. It is an aberration on the, on the justice system of a country like Nigeria that other African countries should be looking up to. The world is watch, watching us, and we expect that this court use this case to redeem its image and communicate to the Nigerian people that there is still justice for Nigerians in their own country. Thank you. My name is A.A. Uh, e. Askera. I watch brief for Citizens Liberty Committee of the Nigerian Bar Association. Uh, we have seen the ruling of the court. For the first time, we have seen justice because everybody is happy in the court. From the defendants, the prosecutors, the defense counsel, all are happy. This is what we expect from the Nigerian court, justice, not judgment. Today, this ruling says that Nigerian judiciaries are good to go. Thank you so much. You know, these uh, defendants were arraigned uh, last week. And the matter was adjourned today for they, they move all application for their bail, and the matter was adjourned today for for ruling. So and the court, in its wisdom, has ruled granting them bail with conditions. So the matter has been adjourned for for trial. I'm coming. The matter has been adjourned for trial. So while the matter was adjourned for trial, the counsel to the defendant raised an issue that uh, there are some other defendants who have been remanded in custody and that is not connected or not charged along with this, this case. So the issue of those defendants who have been separately remanded by, by the order of the court on a separate application, different from this one, can never be joined with this one. This ruling was based on the application that was moved in respect of uh, this matter before the court. So the court is only the 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 the, the bail granted is only limited to this case and not to any other case. So that is the the, the clarification we need to make. There are two there are two separate matters here. There are two separate charges with separate numbers. So granting in bail in one cannot apply to another one. So that is what we want the, the council to understand. That's what we are trying to also make him understand. That what this, this uh, whatever condition given in this uh, uh, application cannot apply to any other, uh, any other case. So that is uh, what, so the matter has been adjourned today until 27th of uh, this month. And the court also granted accelerated hearing. That is what uh, took place today in court.